Welcome, Welcome to, to Five, Five Minutes, Minutes with, with Ryan, Ryan and Kayla. And Devin. Today, we have a very special guest, Devin Vance, who is one of our most senior engineers. Devin has been with us once before, but for those of you who are just tuning in, Devin is also our head of US engineering and the resident Linux cluster wizard. Devin is here today to talk about the benefits of adding a third quorum node for automatic failovers with DRBD. Take it away, Devin. All right, thank you. So um, as we know, DRBD is a shared nothing uh, replication solution. We have replicated data sets. And anytime you have these separate replicated data sets, there's always a risk that if the nodes lose communication with each other, and you somehow get multiple primaries or multiple writable nodes, you now end up with diverging data sets. Um, this usually has to be manually resolved by overwriting the data of one of the peers in order to make things consistent again. So the idea behind DRBD's quorum feature is to simply not allow the data to diverge. Um, thus, we prevent the split brains in the first place. How does one do this? It's actually pretty simple. We just halt all IO and writes the disk when a peer loses connection to the rest of the cluster. Uh, this way it, it no longer has quorum. And if we simply don't allow IO when connection is lost, then we can never have divergent data. Um, you know, we could talk about it, but let me demonstrate it real quickly. So here I have a three node cluster running rel nine. Um, we have our DRBD set here on node A, that's primary, and we have two peers, so nodes B and node C. Um, so for this example, uh, on node zero, we have DRBD mounted to, uh, to mount DRBD. And on inside that mount, I have a file uh, date.txt. So for this example, just to generate some IO, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to echo out the date to this file every two seconds. And then over here, I'll tail that file mount date.txt. And we can see, you know, we're writing to the disk, we're updating this file just with the date. Um, and then over here, what I'll do is I'll I'll block traffic to the DRBD. I'll do that just with some IP tables rules. Got to block the input. Got to block the output too. And then pretty soon here, we'll see right there. So we've lost connection to our peers. We no longer have quorum. So all writes have stopped over here, as you can see, nothing tailing the logs there. Uh, if we hop onto one of the other nodes, rel nine, we'll see that it does still have quorum and its disk is still up to date. So you could promote this one primary. But in the meantime, everything over here is stopped. We'll then just restore connection and then we should see things resume here shortly. So yeah, for here we have quorum majority. On no quorum, we have suspend IO. The other option there is you can have DRB return an IO error. Uh, the idea there being maybe your application is smart enough to exit once it sees the IO error. Um, for this example, I have three nodes. So I set the minimum redundancy to two. The handler here is interesting. This is kind of what we'd recommend you do in a production cluster. I couldn't do it for the demo, but the idea is on the node that loses quorum, we halt all IO and then we reboot that node, which the idea here is once it's rebooted, it'll come up as the DRV secondary. So, and in the meantime, someone else will vote the primary, but you know, that's quorum there in a nutshell. Um, if you just stop IO, you can't have data diverge. If you'd like to get signed up for a free trial to do some testing with DRBD uh, and this quorum feature, um, or want to have a tech call to discuss a use case further, uh, please send an email to sales at limbit.com and either Kayla or I will get back to you shortly.
We will also put our LinkedIn profiles uh, and a link to the DRBD9 user's guide in the description. So be sure to check that out down below. For sure. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On the show, but for those who are, uh, what am I saying? Whenever you're ready. Pause. Ah. Ah. Thank you for that, Devin. We hope this is helpful. Helpful? Helpful.